birth of a child is supposed to be the most joyous time of a new mom's life. But imagine you have twins. One is healthy and the other's future uncertain. An Aberdeen mom lived through that nightmare and now she's not only sharing her story, but helping other families celebrate their next chapter. It's playtime. Belana and her sister Layla. Layla, are you going to be trolling, okay? The twins just turned nine, but when they were born, their parents were told it was likely Layla wouldn't live past the age of two. I literally gave birth and never saw Layla for hours because they realized that she could not breathe and they had to immediately hook her up to oxygen tanks. It took doctors months to diagnose Layla. She's one of the first cases of Jacobson syndrome they've ever seen at Johns Hopkins Hospital. It's a defect in her 11th chromosome. Mm -hmm. And for Sherry, the doctor's view of Layla's future was grim. We don't know what you're dealing with. She may learn to brush her teeth. She may learn to walk. She may learn to feed on her own. Only time will tell. Come on, let's go. Now, Layla is walking. She's still nonverbal. But she and her twin have found a way to connect and communicate. Yeah. During the pandemic, Lana went to her mom and said she wanted to create an imagination book. And she said, where I write the stories and children draw the pictures. And that was the start of Ziggle Bee. Ziggle means cool, so it's like cool bee. Then Layla decided she wanted in on the action. And Layla grabbed the crayon and started like drawing or what appeared to be drawing on the paper. And that was the first time Lana has seen something like that out of Layla. So she was super emotional about it. She was super excited about it. Zigglebee was the writing on the wall for the family's nonprofit, Layla's Gift. Our mission is to advocate for, support, and celebrate children with special needs and disabilities. I'm not the only parent on this earth that doesn't know if their child will make it the next year, to see their next birthday. So Layla's Gift makes dreams come true for families of special needs children. They provide free birthday parties and milestone celebrations at the Port Discovery Museum. Uh, he enjoyed the music and the food and the friends over here. We're subject to therapy appointments, doctor's appointments, OT appointments, speech appointments. You're doing a bunch of different things all day long. That it, planning a birthday is really low <laughs> on the priority list, although you want to make it special. So we, we take that away from the parents and we help them uh, to, to, to make that happen. And by helping to provide this special time, Layla's gift helps these kids be just that. What Layla's gift does is also help children feel connected and feel like they have friendship, if only for a day. And parents are so grateful for that one day. If you'd like to learn more about Layla's gift, celebrating one gift at a time, there is a link to the story on our website at WMER2news.com.